What's up you guys? It's Avery and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day because I'm here in the city of NYC. NYC, the Big Apple as the kids say. I'm here with my mom. We're going to be going to some bookstores as well as the New York Public Library and so just some book locations I guess and we're gonna take you along with us so you can see what's popping in the Big Apple. Let the shenanigans begin. The first place we went was Bowman Rare Books, which as you can see is absolutely beautiful on the inside. So they have all sorts of rare books here, which was really awesome. And as you can see, there's some Dr. Seuss, Curious George. These are, a lot of them were first editions, which was super cool. There was also a first edition to Kill a Mockingbird, which was super awesome to see. And the woman who worked there was actually nice enough to let us look at it and take it off of the shelf. And so that was just really awesome. She also let us take a look at this first edition, Gone with the Wind, that was actually signed by Margaret Mitchell. And lastly was not a first edition, but a copy of Relativity by Albert Einstein, which was also signed by him, which was just super crazy to be looking at and touching this book that Albert Einstein actually signed himself. So. It was really awesome and we had a great time in the store and thanks to the employees at Bowman Rare Books for letting us get a sneak peek. The next store that we went to was Argosy Bookstore which is a six story bookstore that is actually the oldest independent bookseller in the city which is so cool. On the second floor, they had this station, which looks like what they use to repair old or damaged books, as well as a bunch of old antique prints on the second floor, old maps, and the whole store was just a vibe. And something really cool about this store is that they have a old timey elevator that has a cage and everything. So there was also an elevator operator. So we had a great time going in that and it felt like we were just stepping back in time. And then the basement of this building also was just filled with books. And the next place we went was the New York Public Library, and I don't know where y'all live, but my public library doesn't look quite as fancy, but this building is just super gorgeous on the inside and really just feels like you're in Europe when you walk in there. It's so beautiful.
And while we were there, they were having the Polanski exhibition of the New York Public Library's treasures, which just had so many cool old books and artifacts. And so we had a great time going through and seeing everything in there. There was a Gutenberg Bible, which was really awesome, as well as just some other old manuscripts. There was the iconic portrait of Mary Wollstonecraft, as well as the original manuscript of a vindication of the rights of, wo of women. Well, it was a page of it, but that was super cool seeing it in her own handwriting. And the last store that we went to was the Strand Bookstore, which is probably the most famous bookstore in New York. And so I just really wanted to go because it's just an iconic location. And we were blown away by the shelves and shelves of books in this store. It was really cool because there was a lot of like newer stuff that you would see at a Barnes and Noble and tables of new books at the front, but then once you got into the back, there were just shelves and shelves of so many books, and it was so cool, such an awesome store. If I lived here, I would be up in there every day. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the places that we went to while we were in New York. And if you did, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone! What? I'm walking around looking for my water bottle. There it is. Hey everyone! We're going shopping! Woo! Going what? Well, not really. We're going to some <laughs> City Girl. Kinda looking like Ebenezer Scrooge. I'm gonna be honest. Concrete jungle wet.